guys? Today was Black Friday. I went shopping at my local outlet mall. It was an outdoor mall, Miramar Outlets here in Southwest Florida. It was packed with people, bristling with people. The stores were flooded with people. Nike was one of them. The line was out the door, couldn't even get in. It was probably a 10, 15, 20 minute wait, so we said no. A couple of other stores we went to were Saks Fifth Avenue. We went into Polo Ralph Lauren. Polo Ralph Lauren didn't really find anything on sale. The shirts that I normally buy were $55, 50% off, which is a deal I can get any other day of the week. I didn't buy any shirts, so I'll get them some other time. I just figured I could spend my money better elsewhere. So we went to Ralph Lauren, didn't buy anything. We went to Saks Off Fifth, which is Saks Fifth Avenue, their outlet store. They had a ton of awesome stuff in there, a ton of awesome deals, but some of the stuff I came across was really expensive. Uh, one jacket was $700 marked down from $2,000, which I thought was crazy given it's an outlet store. Why would they even sell something that expensive? But they did, and if you have the money, it was a really nice jacket. They had some other stuff, but overall, we couldn't find what we were looking for in Saks Off Fifth, so we left there. But a couple of stores we did go to, we'll show you what we picked up, starting with Sperry. So, we went to the Sperry store, I picked up these sandals. It was buy one, get one, 70% uh, off. So, my dad bought a pair of shoes, they were, I think, $50, maybe $60. So, that was buy one, and then... The half off was this pair of flip flops, which were $50, so they ended up being $25. A really good deal, actually, because they're leather upper. They are the iconic original non slip grip Sperry bottom. If you buy a pair of Sperry boat shoes, they look exactly like this on the bottom. This is basically the sandal version of the Sperry top cider. It's that classic tan color that goes with pretty much everything. It's brown and they're really nice. They're a thin profile. Some sandals can be kind of big and clunky. These aren't. I bought them in a size 12. I usually wear a size 11 and a half. They should fit great. I bought these. I really like them. And for $25, Sperry's usually last a really long time. So at this price point, it was a no brainer. I wear sandals all the time. These should definitely last me a long time. They're a really nice look. And then after that, we went to the Lucky store. We also went to New Balance where my dad bought a pair of shoes. More on that in a second, but we went to Lucky store afterwards. On the way, we tried going to Nike, but like I said at the beginning of the video, the line was ridiculous. So once we got to Lucky, I needed a pair of jeans and I found exactly what I wanted for. I am looking for a pair of black jeans. Now, the tricky part here was the sign at the front of the store said 70% off store wide, or maybe it was 50% off store wide. Actually, I think it was 70%. No, it was 40 to 70% off store wide. So the jeans that I bought were the very minimal discount, 40%. Um, so we ended up paying less than ticket price, but not as cheap as I would have originally liked. So there was an athletic fit. They were $35. That was the pair I wanted, but they didn't have my size. It was a black pair of jeans. They were really nice. I wore a 36, 32. They just did not have them. So someone must have bought them. And unfortunately uh, at $35, it would have been a steal if I would have been able to buy them. But unfortunately I couldn't buy them because they didn't have my size. So what I did was I bought the slim fit, which were only the 40% off. So they were marked down, yes, but they were actually $60, maybe they were $50. Can't quite remember, my father paid for them. It was an early Christmas gift, but still a little bit disappointing the fact that we didn't get um, the full discount. I would have liked to have paid the $35. Instead, we had to pay like 60, but it's okay, they're a really nice pair of jeans. Uh, just taking a look at them, you can see no imperfections, no threads or stains or tears. Uh, these are a perfect example of jeans. I guess you pay what you get for, right? Uh, if you pay a little bit more, you get actual jean material. 
and they're black, which is what I wanted, and I got the size that I wanted, which is, I think, probably what the main issue shopping for Black Friday is, finding your size and getting the discount at the same time, which is always difficult to do, which leads me to the last and final store. Me and my dad, we don't do a whole lot of shopping. We kind of go and just look around and get stuff that we need or want or like. We don't spend a ton of money, but it's fun going, uh, being around all the people and uh, just being a part of the Christmas cheer and spirit and doing some shopping and spending some time together. So the last store we went to was New Balance. I didn't buy anything, but my dad needed a pair of sneakers for walking and working out in. He bought a pair of running sneakers. They had a bunch of different sneakers there, trail and lifestyle. He was contemplating getting something from the lifestyle section, but I told him probably not ideal or good as an option for walking or exercising in. So he went with a running sneaker. He found the pair that he wanted. They were 50% off. Not everything at New Balance was 50% off. It was 50% off select styles. But that being said, they had a really good selection of shoes for 50% off, even though it was just select styles. Walking down one of the aisles, you can actually see that a majority of the shoes on the shelf, minus like one or two pair, were all marked down 50%. My dad was originally looking at a pair of shoes in the clearance section, and that was fine, but um, if you buy from the clearance section, chances are you're buying something out of style, out of date. So I encouraged him to actually look at one of the shoes they had for sale on the shelf, which would have been more up to date, I thought. And the tricky part about this one was he likes to wear a particular size. So like in many of my shoe review videos on this channel, I complain about having wide feet. I always need a wide shoe rather than a narrow one. And he is no different being my father. He too has a wide foot. So we were able to find a shoe, but not the shoe he wanted. Probably the only shoe in the store that we could find that fit him was an 11 and a half 2E wide. So uh, New Balance has these uh, separate markings to, to differentiate between you know the regular shoes, the wide shoes, and the extra wide shoes. If you shop at New Balance, the extra wide shoes are a 4E, the wide are a 2E, and then the D is just the regular size. So it was a really hard time actually finding an 11 and a half 2E. We were looking at several pair that he liked that he was drawn to, but unfortunately we were not able to find his size. Finally, I turned around and just started looking for anything that said 11 and a half 2E, and we found something. Now, the good news about what we found, even though it wasn't the shoe that he saw first or picked out first, it was still a good option. It was brand new, it was in style, it was off the shelf, it was 50% off, and as you can see, it's just a simple black colorway which goes with pretty much anything. So even though it wasn't exactly what he wanted, it's still a good looking pair of shoes. Uh, it's the sh type of shoe he needs for the exercises that he wants to do, which is basically walk he likes to walk, he walks several miles a day, and it's black, so it goes with pretty much any workout, outfit, or attire he can have. Uh, afterwards, we went and got a couple of beers because, boy, did we need it. It was scorching hot for the end of November here in Florida. Usually, there's no humidity, and there's a breeze, and it's somewhat cool, but, man, today it felt like the dead of summer. The sun was just scorching hot. But overall, we had a great time, and we found exactly what we were looking for. I got a new pair of flip-flops. The old pair that I have were from Walmart, but, and actually, I should say they were 70% off, so I think I originally said 50, and then we paid 25 for them. I think we paid 15 for them, so ended up being a phenomenal deal. My mistake, I accidentally misspoke on that. They were 70% off. Buy one, get 70% off. And then we went to Lucky where I got a pair of black jeans. Even though I wasn't able to find uh, the size I wanted 
for the cheapest pair that was $35. That would have been perfect for me. Uh, it ended up working out because I got the nicer pair anyway. And last but not least, um, we went to New Balance and my dad got a nice pair of shoes. They were 50% off, so they were 80. He ended up paying 40 for them. Can't beat that. He got the size that he needed, even though it wasn't the color he was looking for. He still was able to get a brand new pair of sneakers at a reasonable price and they fit him perfectly. So let me know how you guys fared on Black Friday. We had a great time. Uh, my outlet mall, they have a bar and restaurant, things like that. So aside from the shopping, uh, we stopped in, watched a couple uh, minutes of the Ecuador game, which is a World Cup game. The World Cup is on, which is also um, usually on during the summertime. So really good stuff. We had a good time. So let me know in the comment section below how you guys did. My name is John. Thanks again so much for tuning in. This has been just quick video showing you what I picked up on Black Friday because I picked these things up at retail stores that makes them a big box good. I picked up a pair of Lucky Jeans and a pair of Sperry Flip Flops which is perfect for our lifestyle here in Southwest Florida. My name is John. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Comment down below for more. Share this video and channel with friends and family. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next one.